as you're making your way to the starting line, I like to ask everybody to raise your pinwheel up high in the air, as high as it can go. This pinwheel means that every time it spins, we're changing challenges into opportunities. Sometimes the waves, they keep on crashing in. Hi, uh, my name is Tracy Setman, and my team for the last six years is Team Red and Plenty. Hi, I'm Michelle Perry with my husband Michael Perry. We are affiliated with the National Hemophilia Foundation uh, through our grandson Riker, who is a hemophiliac. Hi, my name is Michael Covert. I'm the board president for the Western PA chapter of the National Hemophilia Foundation. Hi, I'm Jen, and this is my son Luke. Oh yeah, when you see, you know, all the teams that were there um, raising money for the cure, eventual cure, hopefully, um, it's overwhelming. You know that there's other people that have this disease and um, they're all fighting the same fight to find a cure for brother, sister, mother, father, uh, grandchild. So it was pretty cool to see all that. And, and eye-opening. Yeah, and you don't feel so alone. alone. Yeah. You don't feel like you're, you're the only one. Yeah. We have been participating in the walk. I believe this is our sixth year. Um, and what got us to initially want to participate in the walk was when I was at an emergency room and I needed to have DDAVP, the emergency room doctor had asked me why I was even there and what DDAVP was for. And my husband and I looked at each other and we were like, we need to do more, not just go to chapter events. We need to get out there and try to help with people understanding these bleeding disorders and help with awareness. Hi, I'm Mindy Berry and this is Riker, my son. He's two years old and he was diagnosed with hemophilia. Um, we do the walk every year to raise money for the foundation for the patient assistance because we think that that's really important. <laughs> and all of our family joins us. We have a lot of fun. It's a great day and I, I hope that more people come out every year to help come and support the chapter because it's a really good cause and they help a lot of people. So um, we're sad this year that it's virtual, but we'll be back at it again next year. Thank you, guys. You help me take this weight off my shoulders. Always run my way when I call you. You're the anchor I'm holding tight on to. You are my home away from home. One person counts as a team, if you ask me. You know, you're you're an army of one, so to say. So, if if you're only by yourself and you want to show up and ra fundraise and show up just as yourself, that's great. I mean, I did that the very first time I went. So, and it was a little bit nerve-wracking, but it was fun. And now, you know, I don't know if we have too many teams now that where there's people that are by themselves. But you know, by all means, if you want to show up on your own, be a team of one, then. I'm all for that. So please, if you don't have a team, don't worry about it. Show up. If you need a team, find me. I'm Red and Plenty. Uh, Jessica or Kara or Janet will tell you, here's Tracy's number or email. Like, just get there and walk and participate. Everything matters. Every dollar counts. Hi, my name is Dawn Rodolini and I am the team captain for Gino's Gang. The reason that I formed Gino's Gang, gosh, so many years ago, um, we've been doing the walk since the very, very, very first year, is because I have a son, Gino, that has hemophilia B, and at that time I thought it was a perfect opportunity for us as a family to get our friends, and really importantly, my kids' friends, involved with helping to spread awareness and helping to fundraise for the Western Pennsylvania chapter. And we have just received so many amazing things from that chapter over the years, from education sessions to camp to other resources um, that 
they're near and dear to our hearts and really they're our family. And so it was amazing to be able to fundraise all over all these years and have a wonderful time and come together as a community. I hope that you will consider creating a team. I hope you will join us, even though this year it's a little bit different, a lot of virtual activities going on, but more than ever, your support is needed because as families with bleeding disorders are impacted by high costs of healthcare, possibly losing their jobs, the chapter steps in and they help with their patient assistance program and ongoing education. So I hope you join me and Gino's gang this year for the 2020 Unite Walk. Thank you. Some days I wonder if the sun will shine Some days I pray for just a ray of light Come take my hand and tell me you'll stay by my side Some days I feel like I'm against the wall Some days I feel Why do you think it's important to raise money for the chapter through the walk? Be the help kids who have hemophilia that live far away and don't have the hemophilia center like by their side close to them. I think that's a great answer so, Luke. Yeah. My name's John and I have hemophilia and it's affected me and my whole family in tremendous ways. That's why I love the walk because everybody gets involved, everybody can participate and this year we can do that from wherever we are. Uh, I encourage everybody, if you're thinking about joining the walk, there's so many ways to get in connected. You could walk yourself. You could donate to someone who's already walking. You could recruit a friend. There's a million ways that we can support one another because this cause keeps the great work of supporting our whole community going in our chapter. And it raises awareness about the bleeding disorders community at large and helps educate one another. So from wherever you are, when the walk begins, I hope that we'll have a chance to connect virtually and I look forward to seeing you there.